Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Showdown Player SBC. Today we are doing Marcus Acuna, uh, a Showdown Player versus Sevilla versus Vela, uh, Villarreal Acuna. As you know, Acuna is the uh, Sevilla player, yeah, Sevilla player and Coquelin is the Villarreal player. This card is looking pretty decent. It's looking actually really decent to be honest, especially if it does get the upgrade. Uh, so it gets an upgrade of one of a draw and upgrade of two if they win. Uh, I didn't know that in the first SBC, but I'll find out now. Uh, 5 foot 8, high high work rates, a left footed 4 star free scar, free scar. Uh, 89 pace, 75 shot, 84 passing, 88 dribbling, 81 defense, and 85 physicality. So a decent looking card. Um, in game stats. 90 acceleration with 88 sprint speed, 82 attack positioning because why not, uh, finishing snaff, uh, 83 shot power, 82 long shots, 69 volleys, eh, you know, penalty 77, uh, vision of 84, crossing of 89, free kick accuracy 77, short passing 83, long passing 80, curve of 90, uh, agility 84, balance of 92, reactions of 85, ball control of 89, dribbling of 89, and composure of 89, really good, uh, inceptions of 81, head accuracy and jumping and naff. Um, Defense awareness is 82, stand tackles 85, slide tackles 82, again really good. Stamina of 93, perfecto. Uh, strength of 83 and aggression of 87. Even if you don't use this card as a left back, one of the best super sub CDMs in the game. Definitely, I mean, I, if I probably had the money, I'd probably do him, but I don't need another CDM. Actually, I'm going to have to compare him to my Fabregas because I use Fabregas as a CDM backup. So, you know. Uh, so, hey ho. Two SBCs to do with La Liga and Argentini Argentina. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, <laughs> before we get into just to let you know, these are foot bin by now. Price is the time doing this SBC, which is obviously uh, midday, the day after it's, uh, it come out. Uh, bids and snobs will, of course, be cheap, and don't forget, really prices do fluctuate. So, requirements of this one, you do need one La Liga player. As you can see, we've got 10 because why not uh, team of the weeks you do need a minimum one as you can see I've got Vida up front there he is the cheapest 82 rated set, uh, team of the week card at the moment so you can throw any 82 rated card in there um, team over and over 83 we're bang on 83 can't lower anyone else team chemistry of 80 we got 5 loyal players off them take them off smack bang on 80 no position change of loyalty and 11 players as well so as you can see as I said we've gone to Liga I've tried to avoid centre backs Dijon he wasn't expensive anyhow because it's an 82 rated uh, 184 don't buy any more 84 rates because 84s are so expensive and then there is a load of other players you can put in Andre Silva is literally around the same price as Vida uh, Hugo Malo a little bit more expensive if you want to uh, you can throw in Rakitic for Kim Munei and Asenio and Titi there's so many players you can do and even if you can you can try and throw these in as well um I tried it, it didn't really work. Well, I could have done it, and it would have been a bit cheaper. But then I would, you wouldn't have had more options to do with the tent team of the weeks. Um, we'll start off with Aitor. He's 1.7k. Uh, Trippier is 2.9. Uh, Yuri is 2.7. Dijon is 1.2. Acuna is 2k. Fernando is 2.3. Canales is 1k. Ocampos is uh, is 1k as well. I had to check that. Arsenal 7.8k. 84 rated, and he's the cheapest 84 rated player in La Liga. Um, Odegaard is 1.8k, and then obviously Vida, as I said, is the cheapest team of the week card at 11.25k by now. So, again, you can throw in any of them in there, so that's pretty decent. Um, 35.85k, it's still expensive for an 83 rated team. Um, 30, 30 to 35k bids and snipes pretty easily. Again, most of you will have a quite a few of these players that you can throw into the club anyhow. Uh, small prime gold players pack, which I wasn't expecting. A 25k pack, uh, well, that's what I call it. Um, so decent there. Um, the Argentina SBC requirements, you do need one Argentinian player. As you can see, I've got Cunha. Uh, one team of the week player. Uh, I've got Luis Suarez. I was gobsmacked how cheap Luis Suarez is uh, for an 89 team of the week player. Then I, you can use Cruz as well, who's actually only about 500 coins price difference which is mad um, team over and of 85 we're bang on 85 can't learn anyone else uh, team chemistry of 70 uh, take we're on 71 if you take the five loyal players off no position chance of loyalty and 11 players in squad as you can see again we've gone Spanish La Liga because the Spanish La Liga is actually cheap for 83 rate cards um, and then two Italian players Italy players Paul Lopez because obviously he fits in perfectly Dzeko and then Visca that Bosnian connection Visca from the Turkish League uh, so we'll start getting to it uh, Lopez is 1.5k, lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, Jekko is 1.6k. Sergio Ramos is one of the cheapest a and rated cards at the moment at 49.5k, which I was really surprised at. Um, so I was happy about that because uh, originally I was going to put in Casemiro, but the way I've done it, it, Casemiro wouldn't fit. 
but I ended up getting in Lopez instead, so technically it was cheaper doing it this way. Um, Aitor is 1.7k, Acuna is 2k, uh, Visca from the Turkish League is 1.6k, Fernando is 2.3k, uh, Fakir is 2.2k, Minain is 2.4k, Odegaard is 1.8k, and are you ready for this? 89 rated team of the week Luis Suarez is 64.5k. Excuse me? For a team of the week card? I was really surprised he's only 64.5k. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain that. Cruz is 65k, so again, you can throw him in if you really wanted to and then put in a striker. Uh, but yeah, 131k is actually quite cheap for an 85 rate that you needed the team of the week card so I'm pretty happy with that a uh, prime mix players pack which is a 20k pack so to do this Acuna card which absolutely looks amazing especially if it does get an upgrade uh, it's costing 166.95k buy it now yeah, you probably get them for about 150 bids and snipes that's if you have to buy all the players you get 45k's worth of packs and you get this card again it's actually a decent looking card. Uh, it reminds me of the footman's card I used that had come out last year. So, But this time, obviously, is in the, the Spanish La Liga. So, you know. Uh, there we go, though. SBC all done. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you've already done it, um, I think it's worth doing. Uh, hopefully, I did save you some time and some money. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Of course, it does help the channel and the video. Uh, obviously, if you're new and you want to see more SBC methods like this, though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. But other than that, Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy, obviously. Peace.